let's talk about the standard pathway because it is the most commonly used pathway. However, it can be really confusing. So here at Code Australia, we're going to do an entire podcast talking about every step of the process going through the standard pathway. However, I wanted to answer two questions that seem to come up a lot regarding the standard pathway. And that is, when can you apply for a job? And how do you apply or even get limited registration? So let me break it down for you. Let's say you've sat your English exam and you've passed it and it's valid for two years from the day you've passed it. And now you've sat your MCQ AMC one exam and you've passed it. So firstly, congratulations, because that's a huge step. Now, you've passed that exam, you've got option one, you're going to start looking for employment. So yes, a hospital can hire you with just AMC one MCQ exam passed. Now, if you're one of the lucky ones and you do get a job with just AMC one MCQ, what then happens, you sit down with your employer and you fill out some APRA documents and those documents are basically your limited registration. So you and the hospital have to fill it out and then you submit it to APRA. Now that can take about four to six months to come back. But once it's approved, you've got limited registration and then you can technically and legally work in the hospital. Okay, now let's talk about option two. In option two, you've passed your AMC one MCQ exam. However, you haven't been successful in obtaining employment. So what you want to do is go ahead and study and book in your AMC two clinical exam. My biggest tip in this case, though, is keep looking for employment. Even if you've booked and paid for your AMC2 clinical exam, keep searching for a job because that's the main goal here. And remember, in option one, you can still work with just AMC1 MCQ exam. So there's no reason why you should stop looking. Now, let's say in this case, you've passed AMC1 MCQ and you've passed your AMC2 clinical exam. Then you find a job. In that case, you're going to sit down with your employer and you're going to fill out APRA documents for provisional registration. So just for comparison, when the first option, you had AMC1 MCQ and you got a job. So then you applied for limited registration with your employer. In this case, you've got AMC1 and two, you've got a job and you're going to apply for provisional registration with your employer. And that's going to take a few months to come back as well. But when it does, you now have approved provisional registration and you can legally work in the hospital as a doctor. Now, please stay tuned for our podcast, which is all about the standard pathway because there's lots of details we have to explain. But I hope you have found this very useful and it's answered those two questions for you.